start let's we we'll discuss uh, endocrine physiology yes endocrine system in which uh, we discuss different type of glands uh, let's first discuss pituitary gland yes these are the glands uh, which uh, secrete their uh, material inside the blood that's why they are known as the endocrine yes and the uh, hormone is any chemical substance which is uh, produced by cells and uh, it released into the circulation and they reach its target portion and then acts on that part these are the chemical substances which are produced by the glands and reach at the different sites yes so from them let's discuss the pituitary gland pituitary gland it is having a, uh, two components anterior part and the posterior part or we can say anterior pituitary and the posterior pituitary gland yes in the anterior pituitary gland there are different hormones which are produced from the anterior pituitary gland what are those hormones which are produced from the anterior pituitary gland those are gh which is known as the growth hormone then there is a tsh that is known as the thyroid stimulating hormone which is uh, stimulating the thyroid gland then acth which is known as the adreno cortico tropic hormone which uh, released into the blood and reaches the adrenal gland and works on to the adrenal gland then we have the hormones which are regulating the sexual functions those are known as the fsh and the lh which are known as the follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone and prolactin yes so these are the hormones which are produced from the anterior pituitary gland and the hormones which are basically the word properly used stored into the posterior pituitary gland because these hormones are produced into the hypothalamus and from there they descend down and then they stored into the posterior pituitary gland these are two main hormones that is oxytocin and the second hormone that is a adh which is known as the anti diuretic hormone now uh, first we discuss uh, growth hormone Uh, in growth hormone we will discuss uh, its chemistry then uh, how it acts on to the different uh, parts of our body growth hormone uh, it is uh, secreted from the anterior pituitary gland it is a wee spike it is a protein hormone yes it is made up of uh, amino acid it is a protein in nature Uh, this hormone uh, having a two main function uh, one metabolic functions and another uh, functions or uh, for the growth of the bones so let's uh, divide these two functions one function that is the metabolic function and uh, these hormone other functions that are mainly on to the bones on to the metabolic function it is having a action on to the carbohydrate protein and lipid so into the metabolic functions we will divide into the three parts first that is a action on to the protein then also it is having a action on to the carbohydrates and also action on to the lipids now for remembering endocrine it's a very technique 
that just by the name we can uh, understand the different functions of that hormone. Name is growth hormone. That means it is related with the growth of our body. And for the growth, uh, we require energy. Uh, we require continuous protein synthesis. Uh, we require to increase the size of the bones. Yes, so growth hormone is doing that type of function. Onto the protein, what is the action of the growth hormone onto the protein? The growth hormone increasing the protein synthesis. Protein synthesis. How it can increase the protein synthesis? Protein is made up of amino acids. For the amino acids uh, uh, sequencing, there is a translation process. Then uh, for that, we require transcription. So, growth hormone stimulates the cellular receptors and it um, increase amino acid transport inside the cell. It increases the amino acid transport inside the cell. Then it stimulates the DNA and it also increases transcription that means from the DNA to RNA then it also increase translation that means RNA to protein that's how protein synthesis is increased and for increasing production it also reduce the metabolism of the protein that's how we can also say it stop the catabolism of the protein and inhibit catabolism of inhibits the catabolism of the protein that's how growth hormone increase the protein synthesis yes now under the carbohydrate what are the function of the growth hormone under the carbohydrate? For the growth, we require continuous energy and glucose is the main source of energy. That's why uh, growth hormone increases the glucose concentration inside the blood. So it increases glucose concentration in blood. How it increase the glucose concentration? Most of the time, growth hormone increase the fat metabolism and use the fat as an energy source, and uh, it will uh, do glycolysis, and that's how also it uh, increase the glucose level inside the blood. And onto the lipid, how it works onto the lipid? It metabolize the fat and mobilize the fat from the adipose tissue tissue to the liver yes so we can say it uh, mobilize the fat from adipose tissue to liver and it uh, increase Fat catabolism. Yes, fat is also rich as source of energy. It uh, increases the utilization of the fat as a source of energy. That's how we can say uh, <coughs> growth hormone onto the metabolism. It increases the protein synthesis. It increases the glucose concentration inside the blood, and it uh, mobilizes the fat from the adipose tissue. Now another function that is the function onto the bones. So what growth hormone do on the bones? So it stimulates bone growth. But how it stimulates the bone growth? Uh, for uh, bones having two types of cells, osteoblast and osteoclast. So this growth hormone stimulates the activity of the osteoblast. Blast make the bones, clast cut the bone. So this uh, GH stimulates the bone growth by stimulating uh, 
osteoblast activity. That's how it will uh, increase the calcium deposition inside the bone and uh, the size of the bone is increased, thickness of the bone is increased. That's how into the gigantism or acromegaly if the growth hormone is more. The uh, person's height is uh, so much up to 7 to 8 feet and uh, if the growth hormone is not secreting uh, from the childhood, the, chi uh, the person's height will be reduced that is uh, known as the dwarfism in which the person's height is just 3 to 4 feet yes and uh, in excessive secretion of the growth hormone there is a hyperglycemia inside the blood and that type of thing is known as the pituitary diabetes yes